everybody. This is Gina Dita Donahue with Elevate Functional Medicine, and welcome to our series of conversations called Let's Elevate the Conversation. Today, I am so excited to introduce Kayla Duncan with ProCell Therapies, and I'm going to have her talk to you a little bit about what ProCell microchanneling is and the people who it can help. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me, Gina. I am so excited. Um, like Gina said, my name is Kayla Duncan, and I'm representing uh, ProCell Therapies today. And we really just want to have this kind of a roundtable conversation for you guys, you listeners, to learn more about this awesome treatment that Gina is offering over at Elevate. Um, and we're going to show you some before and afters, talk about how the treatment works. Um, at its core, ProCell Therapies um, is microchanneling. So it's collagen rejuvenation. And what we're really going to be doing is we're going to be radiating the skin, improving your fine lines, wrinkles, um, improving acne scars and texture, um, hyperpigmentation, skin tone, tightening. We do hair rejuvenation. Um, the list can kind of go on. And what we're going to do today is kind of dig into the nitty gritty about how this can really help you over at Elevate. Could maybe share some information about how it is different from traditional microneedling. Yes, yes, I will. And actually, I'm going to do this. I'm such a visual person. So I'm going to do this with a screen share. Let me just turn this on. And you guys let me know or you let me know, Gina, whenever you can see my screen. Okay. I think yep, yep, we see it. Okay, perfect. Um, so this is the absolute best visual in comparison to traditional microneedling on the far right. Um, you're going to see a picture. These are clay models, and this is of a derma roller on the far right. Now, derma rollers were fantastic for their time. I'm sure many of you listening have might even use one. You might even have one in your bathroom that you got from Amazon or Walmart because they are that easy to get a hold of these days. Um, but as you can see, um, the needles are actually going to go into the skin at a 45 degree angle. They're going to tear the skin a little bit and they're going to exit. And all that flat surface is actually the area of the skin that's not being quote unquote injured. Um, that's not optimal when we're looking for collagen rejuvenation, especially when you're looking at scar rejuvenation, texture rejuvenation and things like that. So um, obviously science evolves and we're all in the business of science here. So when we look at the other pins, that's gonna be your traditional forms of microneedling like Gina was explaining before. Um, in these cases, a cartridge with needles is attached to the device and the motor moves the needles in and out. The practitioner is gliding along the skin like Gina was explaining. But what happens is that sometimes the needles are still in the skin while the practitioner is moving. And that's gonna cause that residual scratching that you can see in that picture. And then what Gina was explaining kind of made her uncomfortable as a practitioner because it does cause trauma to the skin. Now, the dermatologist that created ProCell loved the concept of injury and healing and that whole cycle, but didn't like that same trauma. So what he did is he took ProCell therapies and what we do as the technique and what you're gonna feel when you receive a treatment is a stamping technique, not a gliding, not a scratching technique. And that's why when you see it on a clay model like this, you've got those clean punctures, those channels, which is really perfect for, um, depositing great nutrients to the skin topically. So um, at ProCell, we utilize a hy hyaluronic acid serum that contains growth factors. And in addition to that, over at Elevate, you've got the expertise of some really phenomenal functional medicine practitioners that compound ingredients that you can apply topically to the skin, both in treatment and at home to right. maximize what your body's gonna be doing internally. So the visual is really make the biggest difference in, you know, how pro cell functions in comparison to traditional microneedling. Let me go back one slide to show you kind of the, the three stage process, like how this all works. The actual stamping is going to be creating that injury. Well, this is over time. This is not kind of a one time thing. Um, as with most things like exercise, functional medicine. This is all about a repetitive process that is cumulative. So it gets better the more that you do, the better you take care of your body, the healthier you eat, the more you exercise. 
our bodies are going to respond and continue to respond in a compounding way. So that's the same thing that you're going to see with a pro cell treatment, that stimulation and that repetitive healing response is what smooths out the skin. Maybe you've got some past acne scars. Maybe you've got um, a texture, like when you rub your hand against your face, you feel that texture from past dehydration because of some internal issues that you've had. Um, the interesting thing about skin is that the way the cells work is that that top layer is all mostly the dead skin. It's going to slough off. And so if we can help to rejuvenate healthy tissue underneath, we can do other things to, you know, get the dead skin off different exfoliating things, different, um, you know, products that you can um, buy and purchase at home and use at home different compounding formulas that can increase cellular turnover to get that dead skin off faster. Um, and then it's going to reveal the smooth skin underneath. So let's talk just a little bit about um, skin conditions that ProCell really targets. So who does it help? So the, the heavy hitter is going to be tightening, skin tightening and texture. So we all have wrinkles, right? We've all aged. <laughs> we're younger, we're older than we were yesterday. Um, I'm in my mid thirties and ProCell has been the most phenomenal thing with when I'm like kind of comparing myself to my peers, so to speak, you know, we're all talking about, okay, how can we prevent over treat? Um, I've lived a very healthy lifestyle and really value internal health. And I recognize that that exposes itself on its skin. I'm, I'm a biology major at heart. And so my background's actually in health and fitness. And so when I was introduced to ProCell, I was like, oh, like the light bulb went off of going, oh, well, this is the fountain of youth, right? We're always looking to a kind of a new, a new um, terminology is called pro-aging instead of anti-aging. Um, right. Why don't we just wrap our arms around aging and make the best of it because it's going to happen. Um, and that's what happens with collagen is that over time, our body just doesn't produce it like it used to. So what are we going to do about it? Um, and so fine lines and wrinkles are probably the heavy hitter of ProCell. It's going to be best known for skin tightening. Um, think about even other areas of your body, stretch marks, the inner arms, the top of the knees, glutes, that can all be done with ProCell. Um, yeah. Anywhere you have skin, you have collagen, and that means it's a perfect component um, to be used with ProCell. Um, another thing that is really, really phenomenal with ProCell and where ProCell shines is going to be skin texture. This can be from past acne that you had as a teenager or a young adult. It can be acne that you're having as an adult. What do you do about that when your hormones are changing? You maybe you're premenopausal, postmenopausal. You just had a baby. Any, I feel like as a woman, our hormones are always changing. Not only just our regular menstrual cycle, but it's like as a teenager, young twenties, thirties, forties, like it never stops. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, it's always a time for hormone imbalance. <laughs> always a time. Yes. And. <laughs> Because our sebaceous glands are so closely related to what our hormones are doing, you've got high oil production or you have not enough oil production. So you're always dealing with some texture. If you've had acne, then you're usually dealing with some pitted scarring, um, maybe some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is usually the red dots that are left after you've picked at your pimples. Um, ProCell is phenomenal with that as well. And I'd say those are the top two things. Um, the third thing is going to be hyperpigmentation, both from sun damage, not using SPF, wearing the baby oil back when you used to, wishing that you shouldn't have, um, or if you're just a skin type that is more prone to uh, freckles and you know sunspots, or you've got your other side of more internal, like your melasma, mm -hmm. all of which are dealing with um, the melanocytes, which are living in the dermal layer. So it's right underneath that live portion of your skin or the dead portion of your skin into the live tissue. ProCell helps with those as well, both with the component of the actual stamping and the collagen rejuvenation effect. But mm -hmm. when people are dealing with hyperpigmentation, even though they're nice and tight, you know, you could yep. be, you could even have facial plastic surgery and your skin's tight as a button, but you're dealing with hyperpigmentation. Um, so there's all, all different things that ProCell can really shine. And that's Really, it's the growth factors in the serum um, that are the best for the hyperpigmentation or the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Right. And so it isn't only the growth factors, I think, that, that you know, when we're talking about creating the channels and stimulating the immune system, we have to remember that in addition to the growth factors that are released when, um, 
when the body is responding to the channels being created. Uh, another component that's sent out is a different type of white blood cell that has to go do cleanup. And so um, to me, the hyperpigmentation is, is going to also get treated by the cleanup cells that are coming to kind of clean up the area from the inflammation from the channels being released. And so really we have, or being created. So we have the, the channels are created. We're able to make use of those channels into um, delivering serum and compounded formulations and growth factors into the surface of the skin. And then the body is sending other types of white blood cells there to clean up the debris. And so you're really kind of hitting it from multiple different angles to clean up that melasma. And I know the hyperpigmentation, whatever it's caused from. And um, I have been doing the home micro channeling, the home stamper, which we can talk about a little bit. And I started doing it um, last year and I had hyperpigmentation. So I am 51 years old. And so I have always taken really good care of my skin and I don't have any kind of Botox or anything on my, in my face. Um, but I know that when I just started doing the home stamper at home, I had just some definite areas of hyperpigmentation and especially on this side, you know, from the car and it's almost all gone just from doing the home stamper at home with my own compounded serum. And so I can just say myself, I'm definitely noticing an improvement in my skin, uh, by doing the home stamper. And so uh, let's talk a little bit about how we can really maximize the effects of, of pro cell therapies by, um, you know, when they come into the clinic, what can they expect? And then what are the kinds of things that people can do at home? Um, now, in terms of what you're going to expect when you come into the clinic, um, it's really simple. It's a very, um, I would say like a very basic treatment. You're not going to, um, you know, be kind of getting all these things thrown at you. Um, you can have the option of coming in clean face, which I think is what you guys probably um, suggest. That's always yeah. what, I, what I love. Yeah. So no makeup, if you've got a little moisturizer, not a big deal, but you'll probably have a standard cleanse. Um, and then you have the option, um, just depending on your pain tolerance, um, to possibly use some numbing cream or not. The majority of the time, a lot of people don't use numbing cream. You'll feel kind of um, what a lot of people explain as, or would term as kind of an annoying um, sandpaper feel. <laughs> so as you're feeling the stamps, you'll feel that blood flow kind of tingle. Um, in fact, I have a lot of people who actually like what that feels like and they, they compare it to when they're working out, they like to feel the burn and they like to sweat and then they want to be a little sore after. Um, so pro cell is kind of similar and you're going to hear us talk a lot about how it's almost similar to exercise because that's what it is. We're exercising our face right. um, or our skin rather you can do it anywhere on the body. Um, so you're going to feel nice and hot. Your treatment's going to last less than an hour. The actual stamping itself is 20, maybe 25 minutes, depending on what you've shared with your practitioner. Um, and what they're really targeting, you know, if you've got more deeper lines or some pitted scarring, then the practitioner is going to spend a little extra time creating more channels in those problem areas to trigger that immune response. Um, but then they're going to finish with a hydrating mask and they're going to prepare you to send you home with some serums to continue that healing process. No different than after you work out, you want to eat healthy. You know, you don't want to go home and eat McDonald's. So you want to make sure you've got your micronutrients. Same thing for your skin, which is where the compounding formula comes in. So let's talk, we're just going to pivot and continue the conversation just a little bit more and talk now about stimulating hair growth. And so I love ProCell to help with hair thinning and ProCell has some just phenomenal results. And so uh, especially when I see people with hormone imbalance, either um, their menopausal or their testosterone is not quite where it used to be, or uh, they've got thyroid issues, then we do often see hair loss on the head. 
as being a primary driver of people seeking some help to try and get their bodies back into balance. And so let's talk just a little bit about Procell and how Procell helps with that. And uh, maybe you can even show some pictures of befores and afters because I just think this is um, an amazing thing to be able to help people with. We all want yeah. our hair. <laughs> it is, and we do, and it's a very non-invasive um, yeah. you know, solution. It doesn't take a lot of time. There's not downtime nobody else really needs to know that you're actually receiving any treatments, which is always really great because hair loss and even dealing with internal issues can be very personal and they can really impact you. So it's not something that you really want to go around um, until you're getting those results and you can share it with everybody else. Um, a lot of people don't really want others to know kind of that they're going through a treatment process, you know, like a um, shaving your whole head to do, um, you know, transplants and things like that. So, and it's a lot less invasive than maybe like a PRP treatment, um, a lot more affordable for you as well. So how ProCell helps with it, it's the same tool and the same stamping technique, but it's done on the scalp. And I'm just going to use myself as an example. Um, if my hair were more thin, the practitioner would actually use clips to hold it here and they would be treating just the area that is um, of concern. So most people are going to be thinning right along the crown and you're going to want to treat about an inch into your healthy hair because what we know is that typically those hair follicles start to become dormant um, long before you're actually seeing the result of it. And so a lot of times it's one of the first things, again, let's talk about priorities. Having hair is just not a priority of the body. Um, and so when that communication signal um, stops, to the hair follicle and it stops telling the hair follicle to grow, a couple things happen. Usually the hair starts to become really unhealthy. So anybody dealing with hormonal issues knows that the dryness and the brittleness of their hair is probably one of the things that was like, minus my fatigue and minus my appetite and all this other stuff. Now my hair, it's like it had been happening, but it finally got to you. Um, once that happens, that little hair follicle starts to shrink because there's not a healthy hair growing out of it or multiple hairs growing out of a hair follicle, which is what happens in healthy hair. Um, so ProCell punctures the skin, actually the tips and the needles are um, more narrow. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. More narrow than a hair follicle. So it can actually puncture the hair follicle. Um, so you're gonna see healthier tissue on the scalp, which creates an environment for healthy hair to be produced. And in that treatment, we're also going to be using growth factor serums that are designed and that communicate specifically to the hair follicle to grow healthy hair. Um, it's very rare that we don't see results with a ProCell hair treatment. Um, where the clinician is going to want to do quite a bit more consultation with you is making sure it can be a really great option for someone that is going through hormonal or thyroid therapy or even nutritional therapy, you know, if you're dealing with anemia, things like that. Um, to, to halt the hair loss. You might not see a lot of regrowth until whatever's happening internally is, has been fixed. Um, it's also really great for people who have had all internal issues and their internal issues are fine now. They feel great, but their hair never came back. It's never the same. They're really great. Um, that would be a really great candidate for pro cell treatments because they once had hair follicles that were alive and well. And so we need the hair follicle to be dormant in order to respond. It can't be dead. And I mean, the interesting part about hair follicles is we don't really know if they're dormant or dead until we start to try to um, activate them. And so something very non-invasive like a pro cell treatment, you're going to want to do at least five treatments for your professional to see, okay, this is good because we, it's like waiting for grass to grow. Honestly, you've got to aerate the ground, <laughs> spread the seed, and then we wait. So it does, you know, there's a commitment for time. Um, yes. Those treatments are done every two weeks, um, but you will start to see some fantastic results right about week six, which is your third treatment. Um, and a lot of it is going to be based on pictures because very similar to fitness. You're like, oh, nothing's happening. I'm trying so hard, but that new hair will start budding and, um, your clinician will be able to take some really good pictures of your scalp to see that new budding and the empty follicle starting to become full. And you can continue those hair treatments throughout the year. And then most people are going to want to do some refreshers a couple times a year, depending on the reason why they lost their hair to begin with. Um, but it's a very simple and, um, it's really, really great. We see some fantastic results. I can, I can, while you're talking, Gina, I can actually pull up some pictures. I can scroll, yeah. um, 
if you have any comments on that, feel free while I get these. Yeah, so I do think I want to make sure to set expectations clearly. Just, you know, if you're somebody who um, has had baldness to the point that you don't even see hair follicles, like now your scalp is completely smooth and there aren't even follicles left anymore, um, you may not be the best candidate because you don't have any hair follicles left. Right, right. So, you know, that there certainly is a continuum, you know, we have to have your, your body be able to respond to the therapy, but many people, if they catch it on time, uh, they will be a good candidate. And so I think it is, you know, making sure that we're, we're stimulating follicles that are still there, but are in the process of becoming dormant. Yes. Yeah. And that's just amazing. I just love looking at these pictures. Cool. Okay. So this is how red I get after a treatment as an example. Um, okay. Let's see if I can, um, this big album is multiple pictures. I'm just kind of, oh, here's a hair treatment down here. This is my buddy, Jimmy, actually, this was seven pro cell treatments. Um, young guy in his twenties. Um, so you can see that. And really like the reason why he loved it is because he was pretty much about to completely shave his head and just be like, well, it's really not worth, you know, having this hair, but now he can just keep a, um, you know, a short buzz cut. And nice. he, he loves that. Um, here, I'm going to see if this video will play. This is what a personal treatment looks like. <laughs> So talk a little bit about um, discomfort. So we talked about maybe doing some numbing on the face uh, mm -hmm. for people if they're feeling that they may, um, you know, especially as we get more aggressive because uh, we can go deeper and have more aggressive treatments as people continue to come in for more treatments um, with on the skin. But what about on the scalp? On the scalp, you have so many less nerve endings. Um, it's much less painful. Um, you're also going to have less blood flow. So you're not going to, as the, as the practitioner, you're not going to see that um, same pinkness and erythema like you do with um, like a skin treatment. And you can easily go um, a little bit deeper than what you would with the skin without any numbing cream. I don't know many professionals that use numbing cream um, for the hair treatments, also yeah. for the sake of just having to clean it off, you know, yeah. um, you can finish a pro cell treatment. Now you're good. The serum does contain hyaluronic acid. So, um, women, um, you know, usually it'll, you'll, you'll want to kind of pull your hair back just a little bit. Cause it'll kind of look a little wet when you're done, but most men can just go to go to work the next day. The only thing that we usually recommend is similarly to new grass, don't walk on it. So don't wear your same hairstyles. Don't wear, you know, pull your hair back nice and tight. Don't wear hats that are going to cause friction on those baby hairs that are going to be growing. Um, don't wear any hair pieces for someone who might be wearing a hair piece to cover up that thinning hair. Um, work with your stylist to, you know, maybe style your hair a little bit differently or to get some gentle clips that are not going to pull and break the hair because as those new hairs start to come in, um, they're going to be delicate, just like brand new grass. Again, you know, as a functional medicine provider, I really focus on root cause illness and also helping the body heal itself. And what I like about pro self therapies is that it, it stimulates the body to heal itself. Um, and that's what it's designed to do. And so it really just is a perfect um, complement to what I do here. And yeah, we all want to feel good. And obviously that's my goal is to help people optimize how they're feeling. But in the process, you know, we also want to look good. We want our skin to re be a, a clear reflection of our health and wellness. And so that's something that we're all seeking. And I just, I love using ProCell as a compliment to what I do to help balance people internally. So I just want to say thank you to our listeners for joining us on our Let's Elevate the Conversation um, conversation. And Kayla, thank you so much for your time. And I just want to make sure to let people know that they can definitely give the clinic a call and um, have a free just um, consultation to see if ProCell would be something that would work for them. And then we could talk about how to tailor a package just to meet their individual needs. And we can talk about whether or not compounded skincare would be an option for them, or if they just want to get started trying just, just ProCell on its own and just see if that's something that would um, 
help to repair their skin and make it look the way that they want to. So um, thank you all. And thanks, Kayla. And thank you so much for having me, Gina. This was an amazing conversation. And really quick, will you just tell us where you're located? Yeah. So Elevate Functional Medicine, thank you, Kayla, is yes. in Suwannee. So we are at 4485 um, Tent Road in Suwannee. And our phone number is 60. No, that's my phone number. Our phone number is 470-266-1380. And our website is elevatefxmed.com if you have any questions or concerns. Um, and please give our office a call. Olivia is amazing. She answers our phone. And she would be happy to schedule somebody, anybody for just a free um, consultation on the phone just to be able to answer questions and see if this is something that would work for them. Yes, I think that's the best part is that everything's customized over at Elevate, which I absolutely love is that, um, you know, you've got a lot of tools and things to help people be healthier and to feel better. So thank you so much for having me on. Um, I'm available for any questions that you guys have. I love supporting you guys. Thanks, Kayla.